Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Diana. And today, we're going to walk you through how Diana makes a painting out of a photo I took. A few weeks ago, Diana and I went out to the Trout Creek Trestle trying to find some color on a very gray winter day. We ended up finding some amazing graffiti on a concrete wall that Diana was very excited about. Today, Diana's going to turn some of the pictures I took out there at that wall into a painting. She's going to walk you through her entire process, and at the end, you're going to see a very interesting painting. So let's jump right in. He took three, showing me um, closer up the different depth and, and um, textures of, of this mound that I found that was really quite exciting on, on the wall. It looked like um, that it was all wax, like a beehive. But then the colors that um, the kids had um, put on were not colors that I really liked, but I thought I'd experience experiment with this whole look. So today I'm going to try it out on a, um, a cradle board, 10 by 10. So I have some rocks here that in the wall there's some rocks that I thought were really <laughs> kind of neat and um, all through here it's all concrete and I've worked with this product before, the coarse pumice gel, and it does give kind of a a concrete look and I also have the molding paste that would give us some height and depth and um, I've used this I love this product um, crackle it's really fun it it well it dries it cracks all up and I find in this close-up picture right in here there's a lot of the a crackle in, in the concrete, in this color. So I will um, mix um, a dark green uh, for underneath and then um, put the crackle on and I'll paint over top of where the crackle is, the light green. So it'll really give a lot of this look. I've gone out and I bought some crazy colors because these colors I didn't have in my um, my colors normally I don't use these colors so these are so fun the blue is quite close to that blue there's green the fluorescent orange up here the purples and the metallic green I'm going to gesso the, t the sides and the top of this So I'm not really worried about lines in here, it's just getting it on because um, there's so much texture that I'll be applying that it doesn't really matter. But in some paintings it's really important to get it on nice and smooth and maybe sometimes you do a, a few uh, different uh, layers, sand in between and you can get a nice smooth surface. Okay, that's um, it. We'll just have to wait for that to dry, soak in a bit, and um, go from there. Now it's dry. Put my little glove on because I'll be working with different molds. And, and I had enough time to change into my um, art clothes instead of my other clothes that I had on I didn't want to wreck them and you never know where the paint's gonna go so I'm going to start with um, trying to get some um, height and texture there's uh, this is what I'm trying to achieve it's a mound that was on the concrete um, so I will start with the heavy the hard molding paste 
and this is when I get to use my knives. It's quite thick, it started to dry up, but I'll use some of it because I like the, the thickness of it. I'm going to take it right off. This is, this one here is he, um, extra heavy molding. Goop. <laughs> this will take um, a day or so to dry. I don't paint until it's all dry. So, there, I mean, you can even swish it around, don't need to wipe it off, don't need to waste it. It's the textures is what you're wanting here. But before I go any further on that, go a little bit more over here because I can see it's thick. this course now this is really gritty really gritty it's fun so I am just gonna oh it even gives me a little oh, it's like chalk on a board like I don't know if I can handle it <laughs> it's just Okay, so <laughs> just gonna put blocks in it. Oh. Isn't that fun? it around and we'll add the color like I said later. Ooh. I don't know about you but at school I couldn't stand chalk on a board. Actually I still can. So we'll just put all this around. It's fun. Oh, and I have some rocks to put in. See how all this turns out. these little tiny jars so I need to use them up so I have the this um, iron oxide and I was thinking that'd be so cool um, it's much like this but give it um, straight streaks in there It really doesn't look like much right now, <laughs> but just keep playing with it. You get your uh, texture on. Look like a, a wall, concrete wall, and then you add your colors, just like the kids would do on the, on the like they did on the bridge.
quick nick and muck. It's not dark. I want to have my um, stones, the rocks in. Oh, and I want to put some crackle on. I love crackle. But first off, it's concentrate. Concentrate. They always say happy mistakes. They're always looking not to be so perfect. Who are those people? <laughs> Put the rocks in. I'm going to use some uh, molding paste for it to sit in and stay in. have it down in here. I like using, using natural leaves, spark, rocks. I think I'm going to put this one. Let me see. More. Be interesting to see how it all dries up. Some of these bigger rocks, you're going to really have to make sure that it's um, have a lot around to, to grab hold of it. This wall is starting to look like a mess. <laughs> Certainly lots of texture, but that's what I found on there. Was, the texture was amazing. So I'm going to build this up a little bit more. I really liked it. it was kind of a cone look to it. This will take a while for it to dry. Like I said, I wanted to put some color underneath the crackle. I'll put the, yeah, that's wrong. You want green crackle. So to apply the crackle, you need to have a color underneath. So I'll have to do a little bit of painting. Look at that. It's certainly different. So I'm not painting it over the um, the grit. I have uh, some space that I've left.
Just pour it right out of the tube. Okay, so that's the area, and I'm going to bring it, I'm going to actually bring some of it right down in here. That's what, how they buy it in spray painting, eh? So I'm going to let this, this dry a bit, and then I'm going to um, put the crackle on. Yeah, I'm going to put some crackle on. It'll come on clear, but as it dries, it cracks. You can buy it in big tubs or, or like this, and I quite like to just squeeze tubes myself. It'll spread out, so be careful. Keep it sort of This all dries, it starts to, you know, darken and crackle and lots of different textures. Get in there with your hands. Let's say that is where I'm happy with this. When it gets a little bit drier, stickier, I will make some more cone, cone-like shapes. Let's see what this looks like when it dries. Wow, you've really made some progress here, Diana. It <laughs> looks like you're building a concrete wall right here in our studio. Uh, <laughs> either that or it looks like the most, the world's most inventive cake yeah. that you've, you've iced with rocks and things. Yeah. So what happens from here? So we'll wait for this to dry and um, just before that I would like to go back at this and um, either build on onto the the cone part uh, and do some more lines um, in it when it's getting uh, harder and then we just have to sit and wait for for this to crackle and all of this to dry on them and then we will start adding the color is that all that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you got a lot of work to do. Yeah. And you'll see that in part two of this video as Diana takes this from being something very raw and mm. new to a finished piece. <laughs> That'll wrap it up for us this time. Please give us a like if you've liked this video and subscribe to our videos and hit the notification bell so that every time we put up a new video, you'll get a notification. Thanks again for being here today and we'll see you next time.